Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group, and what I want to do today is show you around the all-new 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV. So we'll look at the interior, some of the range capabilities, some of the stuff on the outside, and see if this might just be the perfect EV vehicle for you. So let's start by looking at the exterior on the Equinox EV. Now, obviously this is a new model in the Chevy lineup and there's gonna be a few different trim levels. The one we have here today is the 2RS. So that's gonna have a few added features into this one. Most specifically, you'll notice the 21 inch wheels that are blacked out and look really cool with this sterling gray metallic. Now, if we look at the front of the vehicle, one thing we found in the Chevrolet lineup is they're starting to bring this LED light bar into their EV vehicles. It's kind of a signature design here. And as well up front, you will notice kind of these cool diamond patterns up here. And you're also gonna have parking sensors up front as this one does have the 360 view camera. Now I have the key in my pocket. So what that means is if I approach the door, the handles will actually open for me. So that allows me to jump into the vehicle there. And then you don't turn the vehicle on. You simply just take your foot off the brake and when you jump out and walk away, the vehicle will lock or you can click it automatically on the key fob. Now, another thing with the key fob is that you do have the power lift gate. So if I double tap on here, it's actually gonna open that up for me and you do get a good amount of storage space in the back of this vehicle. Now this one will also have the rear parking sensors on here and what's cool in the back is it does have a 60-40 split rear seat. So what that means is you can kick those seats down and you do get an ample amount of cargo space. Another thing I found is underneath the floor here there's also a deep little storage cubby so that's where you can keep your level one charger or anything you want to keep out of sight. So there's lots of great usability and stuff on the outside but let's hop inside we'll talk about the charge times and some of the power. So now inside the Equinox EV, you immediately notice the digital infotainment screen here that's over 17 inches. It is gigantic and that is gonna come in all of the Equinox EV models as well as your digital gauge cluster over here. So let's talk about the power plant for the Equinox EV. Now this one is the front wheel drive, so it's gonna have a total range when fully charged of 319 miles. Now this has the 85 kilowatt hour battery pack and that is capable of a 150 kilowatt hour charging at a level two charger. So charge times can depend on some of the different factors as obviously you know if you've been looking at EVs, but really you're able to get about 100 miles of charge pretty quickly, typically under a half hour. So you can actually monitor your charging in the infotainment screen here. So it'll show you when your vehicle is plugged in, just how long it would take to maybe get to 80% or 100%. You can program that out. You can calendar this out, have it charged at specific times. There's a lot of really cool stuff. Now on this screen, you're also gonna have Amazon Alexa built in. It's got Google Assistant in here, so you can actually ask it to take you to Walzer, Polar, Chevrolet, and it would give you directions, not only on the infotainment, but it also goes onto the gauge cluster. You also have auto park assist. So if you're not good at maybe parallel parking, you can click that and we'll help you back into a spot. Now this model in the 2RS will get the heated seats for the driver and the passenger, and they're actually really comfortable. It's got the RS embossed in the headrest here. It's got some red and blue and white stitching and the cabin is very well appointed. Now you've also got climate control that you can control on the infotainment screen, or there is knob down here so you can control the temperature that way. There's also plenty of storage. So there's USB-C charging here for your phone. There's a little storage cubby, but then actually underneath, because there isn't a transmission tunnel on the EV vehicles, you do get a large storage capacity there and in the armrest. So let's look at our steering wheel and digital display here. So what's cool is there's a little button on the steering wheel that's gonna let you go through to see your charge and kind of your regular gauge display. But if you keep pressing it, it actually gets to Google Maps. So that would put that right in plain view here. So you're not messing with your phone when you're on the go. Now this will also have adaptive cruise control and you'll notice on the steering wheel, this little light bar, which is for super cruise. So there's something like 400,000 miles mapped out. So super cruise is really basically a hands-free driving system. There's a lot more involved in that, but just know if you're doing a lot of highway miles, that is a pretty cool feature to have. Not to mention, this is also a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So when those Minnesota winters come around, you've got the heated seats, got the heated steering wheel, that definitely makes a pretty big difference. So in the rear seats, like I said, those do fold down, but if you're hauling people around, I found myself at six foot one to have pretty good headroom back there. And like I said, without the transmission tunnel, you can actually put five adults because the floor is flat back there. And there's also USB-C charging, so everybody can be charged up and happy when you're on the go. 
Now I like the interior design. All the layout here, it kind of feels like the Camaro with the round uh, AC vents in here. And there's sort of a fade from silver, black into red. It does feel kind of a futuristic cabin that's well appointed. The screen is great. I love the large infotainment display here, the well appointed interior. And I think the exterior looks look really good as well. So in the front wheel drive, you're getting an over 319 mile range. You've got great power on tap. And I think with good style, great interior, if you're in the market for an EV, this would definitely be one to look at. And the price point on this one is gonna be just over $47,000 with the 2RS. Now, this may also have you qualifying for the $7,500 EV rebate. And further down the line, there's a 1LT model coming out that's gonna be about $35,000. So there's a lot of good stuff here for the money if you're looking at an EV and definitely one to add to your list to come out, take for a spin. So that was just a quick look at the all new Equinox EV. Now, if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by Walzer Polar Chevrolet. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.